Just a step away from the Champs Elysees, a sober church facade. Bienvenue à l'église danoise à Paris. But behind the stained glass windows, a soft light shines through. Frederikskirchen has been a home from home for Paris's Danish community for seven decades. And it's about more than just religious worship. The church is a social and cultural hub too. This Saturday evening, the pastor is preparing to host a jazz concert. Most of our activities evolve around that little word that cannot be translated, hygge. Uh, this is coziness, uh, a very calm, very cool uh, togetherness, um, sort of um, esprit de bonheur. It is, also, of course, a, a Danish way of thinking, uh, but it is even more so here because we're, so many people are so far away from home. It's also a place for the Danish community to introduce Parisians to their culture and broaden their horizons. It's like a mixture of Japan and Denmark with a jazz vibe. That's what attracted me. This evening, Makiko Hirabayashi is giving a concert. She's a Japanese pianist who's been calling Denmark home for 30 years. The days are very long in the summer, the nights are very long in the winter time. So this dynamic um, maybe influences my music. And also um, to play with a lot of musicians from uh, Denmark and Scandinavia. On Sundays, less jazz and more Jesus. It's the day of worship. Frederikskirchen is part of the Lutheran Evangelical Church of Denmark. For Pastor Marlena, the sense of community this institution offers is important. For most of people, this is the one day during the week that they hear and speak Danish. It is very important to keep the Danish traditions, the customs, um, to find a home. Many young Danes newly arrived in Paris come here for help and advice. Every Tuesday is activities night. Today they're helping to peel 60 kilos of apples to make cakes for the Christmas market. It's a very big city, very different from Copenhagen. I came here to meet other Danish people, because I didn't know any in Paris otherwise. There's a cafe with both Danish and French people, and we can speak in either Danish or in French. The Christmas market is an annual opportunity to draw in crowds and share Danish traditions with them, such as arts and crafts and the traditional mulled wine known as glog. It's fun to do when you're a lot of people and you're with friends, so you don't really feel it. It just feels like, some, like an activity to do, not, not as a job. Some festive warmth from one of Europe's chillier northern countries more than just a church, but a real sense of community in this unexpected Scandinavian corner of Paris. <laughs>